Join me, Nick Baker, on an incredible ocean to outback drive, taking in some of the best food, wine and wildlife experiences in all of Australia. Now, if you've holidayed in Australia before, or if you're a first-timer, this road trip from Adelaide to the Flinders Ranges is the perfect introduction to the country. Along the way, the friendly locals will be delighted to share their slice of paradise with you. I'm going to start my road trip with a couple of days in the city. So this is a, uh, a cronut, so it's a hybrid between a, a donut and a croissant. Oh, oh, oh. And it's not just the food. South Australia is also known for its delicious wines, and the Lane Vineyard in the Adelaide Hills and Penfolds McGill Estate in the city are two of my favourites. Mm. Cheers. The coastal part of my road trip is fantastic. And as much as it pains me to leave this city of fabulous beaches, fine wine and excellent locally produced food, I need to get myself a little bit of adventure. So I'm heading north now to the Clare Valley. Well, we left Adelaide. We're now just an hour and a half up the road and we've arrived in the Clare Valley. It's absolutely beautiful here. And it's the perfect place to rest up, take in the sights and get a bit of breakfast. My tip would be to spend at least a night here, cycling a section of the Riesling Trail and enjoying the cellar doors, before heading on up to the Flinders Ranges. Award-winning Riesling is the heart of the wine production here, but you'll find Shiraz and Cabernet are favourites too. And of course, they have the traditionally and traditional naming conventions. I left Clare this morning and just three hours further on, north up the road, I've arrived here at Arkabar Station Homestead. Now, the beauty of this place is you have something like 64,000 hectares of prime Australian outback to explore. If you want stunning views, if you want amazing geology, if you want to see roos and emus, this place pretty much has it all. And the food and the wine here is as good as the wildlife. So I'm here for a few days to get my walk on and experience my own slice of Australian outback. This former sheep station in the Flinders Ranges is now a huge wildlife conservancy where indigenous animals are thriving in their natural habitat. Guests here tour safari style with knowledgeable guides that bring the whole place to life with their passion for this very special part of South Australia. Further along the road is Rawnsley Park Station where you can swap four wheels for two and cycle amongst emus and kangaroos as wedge-tailed eagles soar overhead. And for the geologists among us, the nearby Brachner Gorge is a fascinating addition to your ocean to outback road trip. Here you drive through the Brachner Gorge Geographical Trail, home to fossils dating back some 600 million years. Keep your eyes peeled for yellow-footed rock wallabies in the gorge before motoring on to the Prairie Hotel in Parachilna for a well-deserved Aussie beer. Now this fantastic outback pub has great accommodation and an awesome menu, attracting visitors from around the world who come to try the feral mixed grill. It's a bit of a meet them, then eat them philosophy. Bed down here for the night before heading back to Adelaide, allowing time on the drive south to pull over for crossing kangaroos en route. I tell you, rush hour out here can be terrible. <laughs> 